coconut soap is an excellent ally in natural hygiene. In this video we will show you how to make coconut soap for cleaning that can also be used as a natural insecticide against garden pests. We will show you all the details for making this soap as well as its various forms of use. To make this soap the necessary ingredients are distilled water, coconut oil and caustic soda. In this case 99% pure sodium hydroxide. It is important to have vinegar at hand because in case of spillage the vinegar stops the action of soda. Due to the handling of caustic soda special care must be taken. This is the mandatory protective equipment. Safety goggles, rubber gloves, a mask, a long-sleeved lab coat and closed shoes. The necessary materials are one kitchen scale, one stainless steel pan, never use aluminum as it reacts with soda, one container to measure oil, one feeding syringe may be useful, one container to measure water, and one container to measure soda. These containers can be made of glass, stainless steel or plastic, never aluminum. One stainless steel spoon, one silicone spatula, one digital kitchen thermometer, one hand blender exclusive for this purpose. After using the blender in contact with soda, it can no longer be used in contact with food again. Cling film, one tray, a silicone mold, and a cloth. After gathering all the material, weigh 387 grams of coconut oil. For this task, we use a feeding syringe for greater accuracy and to prevent oil spillage. However, a tablespoon can also be used. Then, weigh 135 grams of distilled water. Before starting to handle the soda, put on all the protective material. And then, weigh 70 grams of soda. With all the ingredients measured, put the oil on the heat. While the oil is on the stove, add the hydroxide carefully to the water and never the other way around. Dissolve the hydroxide with a stainless steel spoon, never aluminum. Both solutions will reach high temperatures quickly. Remove the oil from the heat and place both solutions in a cold water bath to control the temperatures. To add the water to the oil, both solutions must be at 45 degrees Celsius. Both must be at the same temperature or with a maximum difference of 10 degrees. This process takes a little time and it is important to always be attentive to avoid distractions that can compromise the result of soap making. It is important to note that the formulation of coconut soap for cleaning is different from the formulation of coconut soap to use on the skin. As we said at the beginning of this video, the recipe that we are sharing is of soap for cleaning. This soap cannot be used to wash your face or to bait because it has no superfat. Superfat is the extra fat in soap to make it soft on the skin. A coconut soap for cleaning does not have superfat in its formulation. This means that coconut soap for cleaning is aggressive to the skin, as it has the ability to remove its natural fat layer. On the other hand, it is excellent for cleaning due to its high degree of detergency and its ability to remove grease and dirt. As soon as both solutions are at the ideal temperature, add the water solution to the oil, never the other way around. Mix first manually with a spatula and then blend until reaching the trace. 
The trace is when the soap reaches the point of emulsion, that is, the point at which the solution of water and oil mix and form a viscous batter in which it is possible to identify lines when passing the spatula or blender. Pour the batter into the mold. With the help of the tray, shake the mold to remove air bubbles that may be in the middle of the batter. And cover with cling film and a cloth to help maintain the temperature. Isolate for 4 hours without disturbing until it hardens. After 4 hours, unmold. It is advisable to use gloves when unmolding. This recipe will give you about 600 grams of soap. The weight will always vary after the cure. The cure is the time required for soap to lose water and stabilize the pH. In the case of 100% coconut soap for cleaning, the curing time is 4 weeks. During the 4 weeks of curing of coconut soap, the bars should be stored in a place without direct sunlight and without humidity. The bars must be rotated so that they can cure evenly. For better guidance, it is important to make a label with the date the soap was made and the approximate date of the end of the cure. Wash the material only the next day using gloves as it's still very caustic. After curing, the soap can be used in several ways. To do the dishes, just wipe the soap with a damp sponge and wash the dishes as usual. Gloves should be used to protect the skin of the hands due to the high degree of detergency of this soap, as mentioned before. For laundry, the soap must be grated. You can grate the amount needed for each use. If the soap is grated all at once, wear gloves in order to avoid the intense contact of this soap with the skin. Then just put the necessary dose in the detergent compartment of the washing machine. As a natural insecticide to protect the garden against pests, it should be grated and dissolved in hot water to spray on soft-bodied insects, such as aphids and mealybugs. To find out the recipe for this insecticide and how to use it, check out this suggested video. This soap can also be used to make soapy water recipe with vegetable oil against garden pests. For more information about coconut soap, visit this post on our blog. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos on sustainability, organic farming and so much more.